As you can see, it is time to review some things, and this is the latest thing to come out of Victory Works, the Terriers. More importantly, the Terriers, A1s and A1Xs, and the early years. What comes in the pack? Well, you get a lot of beautifully modelled Terriers, I must say. Um, I must say I prefer the A1 version, because you know, it's got the best trainable what 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 <laughs> what okay now phone tension isn't actually drivable but I have I have modeled these these four engines are the only ones that I have done the modification on if you go to the description you can watch the behind the scenes video and how I did this um so yeah Fenchurch is in her A1X state, A1 state, sorry, uh, with everything, uh, the beautiful detailing and everything, all the brass and the copper work, it does look very, very nice. And then we have Freshwater and Newport, which are the Isle of Wight and Railway resident terriers. So, what else do you get? In the base pack, you get a1s and A1Xs. You get them in improved engine green, which is this livery here. Southern, Southern name and Southern olive. LSBCR umber, which is over there, which is number Fulham. This is six forty-four, and they've all got customizable terrier tenders. I think there's seven to choose from. So yeah, you've got seven tenders to choose from. Um, seven being the Isle of Wight tender, which is extended all the way up to the butt beam. So what else do you get? You get um, the early years pack, which is the screen. You get LSWR livery, South Eastern Chatham livery, which is a lovely livery here. Um, South Eastern Chatham Wartime, which is this livery. New Haven Harbour Company, which is this livery, and it's actually Fenchurch, the only one that's modelled. It's pink, I haven't actually changed the number on this one. But it's very nice because it's Fenchurch. You've also then got the FYN livery, which is the Freshwater Yarmouth and Newport Railway. Um, I apologise. You also get the, that's the one livery, the IWC Railway, which is the Isle of Wight Company Railway. Now this comes with all of these, which is modifiable for all of the stations that were originally on the island. Cows, Freshwater, Newport, Ride, Shanklin, Ventnor, Yarmouth, Haven Street, Smallbrook and Wootton. You can also cycle through the game in the using control from the night. You also get, foolishly of me, I named it wrong, you get the Southern Livery, Southern Black Livery, and the Southern Name Livery. Now you don't actually get them in the main packs, which I thought you did. Not. Which is wrong, you only get the Southern Southern, the Southern, um, Tutton Tut. You get coaches! Lovely, lovely coaches. And this is going to be our train today, so I'm going to take it up to Wooden and back. Because this is part of the line to drive. Um, they come with these beautiful little tail laps that are very clever. Uh, they, they're even active in the uh, scenario editor. And basically they change the end of the train depending on where your engine is or where the coaches are so there aren't any tail lamps there however if we go all the way to the end there's a tail lamp there the variants on these coaches are first third and first second third and then you've got second third and then the brake coach which is the brake coach which has a view inside which is you can talk to what happens if you press five and then here. This is in the Southern Railway livery. Um, I think we think we're actually on that railway. Uh, they're all independently numberable. Should be. 
and then you've also got over here the London Brighton South Coast variant. So LFBC history here with the numbers, the first variant, third variant, second variant, first variant, um, there should be a first and third and also the break variant. So basically you get two sets of coaches with the first pack and then you've got the other liveries with the early year pack. This is Stepney uh, in the A1 version. Let's just quickly destroy the air brakes and the vacuum. Since I've got the hand brake on. Because these do start moving sometimes. Um, and it will now not move. Right, so you get number... Uh, you can put changeable head codes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven changes them to lamps. Eight does nothing. Because in control and nine will change the numbers over there. Uh, control and space. Come on. Give you a variant of whistles. I think there's like four or five. And then you've got that. Now this has probably been the main thing that people have complained about with the pack. Hang on, let's just change all of this back. Yeah, let's keep it on that one for now. Uh, the main thing that people have uh, complained about on the pack, just on this engine, just on the um, engines with the bell whistle, is that once you stop pressing the space bar, it keeps whistling. However, with the Isle of Wight hooter whistle, it does not, as I will show you in a second. The interesting thing about the injectors also is when you turn them on, they also go off. So you have to turn them on, then press Ctrl and L, and that locks it on. And then you turn on the water. Turn it back off. And I just, I just unscrew them and let them do their thing. You can't actually cover the lubricant. Like, oh, you can. Oh, you can. I've never cover the lubricant. It's got the vacuum brake steam and the Westinghouse steam. Uh, so that's for the brake pump on this engine, which it doesn't have, even though it does have the air brake. So this is the Isle of Wight variant. Uh, the only thing that's different between. Stop. Okay, that was interesting. What? No. Okay. So the only thing that's different on between these two variants is the livery and the whistle. That if I press, that is my favourite whistle. I have actually put the whistle on this on in, on Stepney quite a lot because I prefer the whistle compared to the the other whistle. That is my favourite of the sounds as well. So now Fenchurch is the drivable one and I fixed the Stepney bunker. Right, so the Stepney's bunker just quickly has the closed rails and for some time is moving. Right, so Fenchurch's brake on the A1 variant is just on the uh, colon key and the other key. I'm ruling Fenchurch, I must say. Lower, condenser, um, stain, there's no pressure valves. This is very, very basic. Head out view. So, what we will do is do that and that. No, that one. Oh, the top view. One. There we go. Right, so we'll take Fenchurch out. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just. I'm not going to use Fenchurch because. Um, because of the condenser. That's what I'm actually going to do. The condenser, if I remember correctly from the manual, the condenser, what the condenser does basically is it takes the steam and it puts it back into the tent and into the tanks. Stop this thing. Yeah, close enough. Um, take off the brakes. And we'll just shunt backwards a bit. Now as you can hear, there's a very, very faint chuff because the condenser is on. Now we are going to actually run through here. But the condenser's on, so everything's going back into the water system. 
So if we just let it roll down here, hopefully. Yeah, we're phasing through the fence. It doesn't matter. Um, also on Fenchurch has just the vacuum pipe there. That's interesting. On the A1 version, on the A1X version, doesn't it have... Yeah, the A1X version has vacuum, steam, heat, vacuum, steam, heat, and air brakes. Or whichever way it is, it's got all three. Um, right, so what we'll do is we get back into Fenchurch. Mm -hmm. Bring ourselves over to the other side of the cab and turn the condenser off. Now we'll bung it into forwards. Do a pointlessly long whistle. Open the taps. And now you can hear the, the lovely, famous terrier chirp a lot, a lot more. So what we'll do is I'm just going to bring myself over to here. Bring it up on the step me I'll open this Just open that back up yeah do you want to push around the way push 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 and then we ping ourselves over to the Isle of Wight very up oh. okay there are buffers in there okay that's good right so what we'll do put the air brake on and then we'll just give the A1 a, a, the A1X even the A1X a quick road test and we will put. You don't actually have the tool lamp code, so I can't put that in. Okay. Right. Turn that down. And we will plug off. Hopefully. So, yeah, this has got the Isle of Wight cast chimney instead of the marsh chimney, which is what Fenchurch has. Which is what makes the uh, whistle sound the. Chuffing sounds a bit different. Have we got the clearance? Come on. Yes. Ha ha ha. Did the right whistle. Come on, open it up just to get over that bit. There is a slight hill on there. I was going to do a scenario on the other white with the terriers to test them. But it didn't work. Hang on. Oh wait, no, there was a bug, wasn't there? I'm talking to myself a little bit because there has been a couple, I've had a couple of issues in this. Spung that forwards, spung it forwards! <laughs> yeah, really open it up. Bring that back, open up a bit more. Whistle sounds so much better than the other one. Oh, let me rolled back now. So yeah, there are all the engines that you can get, and the coaches. They are very nicely modelled, and they have a guard's whistle sound that goes off when you close, when the doors close, basically. And I can verify that if you don't keep the cylinder drains open for a certain amount of time, basically to let the water drain out, like normal cylinder drains um, then they do blow up as per usual victory works locomotives you can blow up the cylinders uh, how do I know this because I do the West Sunset scenario oh I pressed the come on shut the fire hole just open that Doop. <laughs> that is my favorite with Good. Right, back up onto our train. Usually when I play this, I equip the Isle of Wight engines with the Marsh Gym, just because it sounds so much better. It sounds like a real terror then. Yes, I do apologise as well, not being uploaded consistently. Um, the City Skylines series might die, I don't know yet depends on how much more I can do. Um, I think I got another episode recorded and then I put some more mods on there and it might have died. I don't know yet. That's something else for me to work out until a later date. 
Also, isn't this video so much better quality? Can we cut it? Yes, right, so there's the smart technology. There was a lamp on here. It has gone, and the discs have also gone. Which means they're only on the front of the engine. Right, let's open the doors. Um, get this view, bang into forwards. Build up the vacuum. Come on, this one now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put the logo back in there. Because that's really quick to bring back. Oh, up a bit. Up a bit. There we go. Right, we got the whistle now. Bring that up. Bring that forwards. Right, we open up. Get the right away for what? And we'll just go up to here. And we'll go back to Hayden Street, I think. Right, so we can chuck the cylinders, bring that back a bit. And we'll stick me head out while we fill up the firebox with a bit of coal. I've found that I haven't actually found the ideal mass for this engine yet, but I've found that if I bring it up to about 400 pounds, um, bring that down. I found that if I bring it up to 400 pounds on the fire, then it basically blows off for the entire day. At some point I've also got to gear up, but if you gear up too high on the regulator, then it just slams into forwards annoyingly. Something I've also found that if you do control and space whistle, but you press, you let go of control first, the steam effect comes on. The steam effect just stays on. Let's do that. Come back. You don't actually have to shut the regulator, but I do, because otherwise it will not be happy. So the cab view in the FB, so the 5 view is this. It's very nice. It's very nicely detailed this section. Right, come on, advanced terrier. Let's shut that a bit and go forward a bit. There we go. Oh, we can bring it back. Can we? Are you not going to let me? There we go. One more. Right. Now we're advancing. Right, shut the fire up. Shut the coal door and then the fire door. And then that's just put the fire back up anyway. We do that. We then. No. No? Alright, for some reason we can't put the flap up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> right, let's bracket that. 20 miles an hour, and then a bit too fast. And you can also put the loco brake into running. Let me just make sure that doesn't. Bit on the blower, just so that the object doesn't bring all the pressure. I'm not a master of driving these trains, nor am I a master of driving any train. As you can tell by my earlier videos, of being able to turn an electric train off. But I'm pretty good. I think. <laughs> Come on. Add a bit more flat. The sounds as well are amazing. There, ah, oh, there we go. It does, they, they do give up amazing sounds. Do that, shut that, and shut that. We go keep on top of everything. And then we can uh, keep it up a little bit.
Come on. We'll be on the final stretch now. <laughs> I always love that. There's Wotan. Um, so far I've modified the signal box, so I moved it, added a new um, dwarf over there, signal. There we go. Just drift it in slowly. I think that was new. I don't think that was actually at the railway yet when I went last in Easter actually. That was not far actually. And I love that we are miles away from this platform. Okay, that'll do. Neutral and break. Uh, okay, so there's no hard work on the train. So open the doors. And undo the cut thing. And break. So you've also got the lamp modes, um, the red and the tail lights, but then you can also switch them, hopefully, come on, there we go. So it faces the other way around. What's that signal showing? Wrong! Yeah, there we go! Blowing off. I wonder if we can just open that crack. Is that wasting? No? That's just making a zip or something. Right, and the points. Points have been changed. I'll leave it in a slightly lower gear. So we can make it up the hill. Open it up full tap. <laughs> and that should be set to go to turn, Jeff. Good. Still blowing off. <laughs> hey, there we go. And we will bung that to the north wall and then off. There we go. Shift control and seat. Just redo the doors. Now the tail lamp is on the other end. And for the return journey we shall adopt that head cut. Right. Bring that into reverse. 
ring up the vacuum and take off the handbrake. Here we go. There we go, just as we got 21 inches in the back of the brake. And off the cylinders. And bring the reverse up forward. We've got the clear. Sweet. So these 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 terriers are really good. Um, I got them. I pre-ordered them. So I pre-ordered them to work, and they're worth every penny. To be honest, I've played them. No, I've played with them, or even added them just into the scenario to have in the background, um, mooching about, widening. Oh, that's a nice view. <laughs> that's a really nice view, actually. Unlike some engines which you have to drive, like the Black 5s or the 7S, the vacuum brake applies a sort of decent speed, should you say. Um, it, it all acts at a decent speed. Like that, you know. Because that's what you need from the from the vacuum braking plant. You don't need it to take 5 million years. You don't need it to take 3 million years to apply the vacuum brake. But then again, that is about the same time as the second class stamp. Oh, stop blowing off, please! Open the final door. I won't be priming it, but if you do, so if you overfill the boiler to about, I think it was 1.12, uh, that's probably end game. Uh, I haven't gone any further than that. Let's just turn it off now. Now, and into that. Let's just stop getting the trees in our face. Um, the water particle effect does come out of the chimney, and it's very, it's very funny. You know, you can free shower, you know. How far are we from Hayman Street? Not that far. 0.63. So yeah, there will be no unedited version of this, however, the secret video for this will be the behind the scenes of the setup. Um, because this will be a fully edited video, as per my usual editing standards. Hashtag mini metro. Um, Don't bring that on all the all the way. I meant to bring it on two clicks. Yeah, because two clicks only is in the running position for the air brakes. Which is good. Good. So yeah, hopefully this video is a lot better quality um the recording mine instead of my because I'm not using crap. Because I'm using better software! And from all my tests I've done, it should record at the same frame rate the game is playing at, rather than um, the failed attempt which was Space Engineers of 8 frames per second. Luckily you'll never see that failed attempt, because I have the decency to axe it before I edited it. But I will put a link to the other person's to Lynx's perspective. Uh, in the description of this video and probably the previous videos if there were previous videos. I don't know if I did previous videos. Oh, every I do that a lot. I do the control and space a lot and then I forget. And then... Well sometimes I'm just so quick on the 
when I pull off the application. See, that's a, that's a good speed to apply your brakes. And not not the force I'm using. Because clearly it's not working. But, you know. It's working very, very well. And it's actually applying rather than not. You know, rather than just sitting there. Hey, right, we'll just, we will pull up at the signal and disembark. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do water instead. Destroy, destroy, raise it, raise it, raise it. It does destroy and raise the vacuum quite efficiently and quickly. I have noticed. A little bit more. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're back. There was a bit of cleaning cylinders. Come on, you just need to go a little bit further. That'll do, that'll do. Destroy, destroy. Handbrake, brakes, passengers. Oh, is it because I'm getting the water? Yeah, so. That is that. That is the review. There will be a scorecard on the screen because this is the kind of review that puts a scorecard up. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this. They are a very good product. There is a link to them in the description where you can buy them from Steam Sound Supreme. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Alligators. Torah.